This is going to be the first time that Guam has ever played China in a in China and in a game of this caliber. So uh, I think both of us are coming in not knowing um, too much about each other. Um, so it's going to be uh, throughout the process of the game, feeling out what adjustments we have to make. We know they're going to be big. We know they're going to be strong. Um, they've got a lot of skilled players, so we are we have to be ready to play our game and pretty much uh, roll quarter to quarter with whatever we, we see. My game right now, um, I feel like I'm spacing the floor for my teammates. We have some pro guys that are coming in and I might not have the ball as much as they might have it more, but just to be on the court and adding value without having the ball or playing good defense and spacing the floor and hitting shots. We have to make sure that we play physical enough to keep them off the offensive boards. And um, we're going to have to block it at all five positions, rebound at all five positions. At whatever level we're playing at, whether it's outside league, we're playing over at BMS or we're playing at UOG, playing against Team Japan, it's just high going out there, having fun, being out there with my teammates, my guys. A great experience for us playing against China and Japan. Uh, you know, win or lose, I think this is just uh, something we're really looking forward to. To not only test ourselves, potentially get big upsets, uh, but also gain the experience we need to play at this level. So our young guys are going to have to grow up real quick. Um, and I think this squad is a good mix. It's the same court that we train on, the same 94 feet, same rim, same free throw line, same three point line. It's just we might have a couple 10,000 guys watching us, right? These games are not only about, you know, getting the win is important, but even more so gaining experience and, and building up our program.